Assalamu alaikum friends welcome back to my channel hope so you all are fine so today i am here with a new question so here we will find the value of x and the value of y from these two equations so here we have x plus y is equal to 2 and we will name it equation number 1 and the equation number 2 is x raised to the power 5 plus y raised to the power 5 is equal to 82 and we will name it equation number 2 now by using these two equations we will find the values of x and y so first of all i will use here equation number one so equation number one is x plus y is equal to two now i will take square on both sides so it is the form of a plus b whole square which is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab so we will open here formula x square plus y square plus 2xy and 2 square is equal to 4. So from here we will get the value of x square plus y square which will be equal to 4 and we will take this 2xy to the right hand side so it will be minus 2xy and we will name it equation number 3. It is our new equation. Now again we will use this equation number 1 and apply a cube on both sides. So x plus y whole cube which will be equal to 2 cube. When we will open this formula so here we will get the value of x cube plus y cube then we will multiply x cube and y cube with x square plus y square so it, it will be the form of x raised to the power 5 plus y raised to the power 5. So x plus y whole cube is equal to x cube plus y cube plus 3x square y plus 3x y square and 2 cube is equal to 8. So from here x cube plus y cube and here we have 3xy is common. So it will become x plus y which is equal to 8 and x plus y is equal to 2 so we will substitute here value of 2 so it will become 6xy so x cube plus y cube will be equal to 8 when we will substitute x plus y is 2 so it will become 6xy now we will take the 6xy to the right hand side so it will become minus 6xy so it is our equation number 4 now we will multiply equation number 3 and equation number 4. So it will become x square plus y square times x cube plus y cube. Which will be equal to 4 minus 2xy. times 8 minus 8, 6xy okay now we'll multiply these terms so it will become x raised to the power 5 and then it will become x square y cube it will become x cube y square and it will become y raised to the power 5 now 4 minus 2xy and from uh, this term, we will take 2 is common. So, it will become 4 minus 3xy. So, here we have x raised to the power 5 plus y raised to the power 5 if we rearrange this term. So, from these two terms, we have x square and y square is common. So, it will be x plus y. Which will be equal to 2 times 4 minus 2xy times... 4 minus 3xy so x plus y is equal to 2 now we'll substitute here value of x plus y so it will become x raised to the power 5 plus y raised to the power 5 plus 2 times xy square which will be equal to 2 times 4 minus 2xy times 4 minus 3xy. 
here we will also have a value of x raised to the power 5 plus y raised to the power 5 so which will be 82 so 82 plus 2 times xy whole square which will be equal to 2 times 4 minus 2xy 4 minus 3xy so from these two terms we have 2 is common so we will divide both sides with 2 so 2 and 2 will be cancelled out from here so it will become 41 plus xy whole square which will be equal to 4 minus 2xy times 4 minus 3xy okay now in the next step we will multiply these two term also so it will give us 41 plus xy whole square which will be equal to 16 minus 20xy plus 6xy square now we'll take these two terms to the right hand side so it will be equal to zero so we will rearrange it as 6xy whole square and it will be minus y xy whole square so it will become 5xy whole square minus 20xy this plus 16 minus 41 will be equal to minus 25 and it is equal to zero now all these terms have common factor is 5 so we will take 5 is common so it will become xy square minus 4xy minus 5 is equal to 0 okay to remove this 5 we will divide both sides with 4 5 so it will give us xy whole square minus 4xy minus 5 is equal to 0 now it is the form of a quadratic equation so we will solve it by factorization as here product should be equal to minus 5 and sum should be equal to minus 4. So xy whole square minus 5xy plus xy. It will again become minus 4xy and when we will multiply them it will be minus 5xy square. Okay. Now. We will take common xy in these two terms. So it will give us xy minus 5 and from here 1 is common. So it will give us xy minus 5 is equal to 0. So xy minus 5 is common in both terms. And here xy plus 1 is equal to 0. So from here value of xy will be equal to 5. And from here the value of xy will be equal to minus 1. So here we have equation xy is equal to 5 and here we have xy is equal to minus 1. Now we'll use equation number 1 to find the values of xy. So equation number 1 is x plus y is equal to 2. So if we take value of x from here in terms of y and then substitute in above equation so we can get the value of y from here and then that value of y will substitute in this equation and get the value of x. So from here x will be equal to 2 minus y. Similarly we will use same equation here and from here x will be equal to 2 minus y. Okay. Now we'll substitute this value of x in this equation. So it will become 2 minus y times y is equal to 5. So its simplified form will become y square minus 2y plus 5 is equal to 0. Now we will apply here quadratic formula. We, uh, sorry, y is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so y will be equal to minus b means 2 because minus into minus will become plus plus minus square root of b square so minus 2 square will be 4 minus 4 times 5 is 20 and 20 times 1 is again 20 
divided by 2a so 2 times 1 is 2 so y will be equal to 2 plus minus square root of minus 16 divided by 2 so from here y will be equal to 2 times plus minus square root of 16 is 4 and square root of minus 1 is iota divided by 2. So from these two terms we have 2 is common. So 1 will take 2 is common. So this 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. So it will become 1 plus minus 2 iota. So the value of y from here is 1 plus minus 2 iota. So here we have two values of y. y1 is 1 plus 2 iota. And y2 is 1 minus 2 iota. Similarly, we will solve this case and also find the value of y from here. So, when we, when we will substitute this value of x here, so it will be 2 minus y times y is equal to minus 1. So, its simplified form will be y square minus 2y minus 1 will be equal to 0. Again, we will apply quadratic formula here. So, y will be equal to minus b means minus into minus will become plus 2 plus minus square root of b square. So, minus 2 square is 4. Minus 4 ac. So, minus 4 into minus 1 will become plus 4 divided by 2. So, y will be equal to 2 plus minus square root of 8 divided by 2 so y will be equal to 2 plus minus square root of 2 is uh, square root of 8 is same as 2 times square root of 2 divided by 2 when we will take this 2 is common from these two terms so this 2 and this 2 will be cancel out so from here y will be equal to 1 plus minus square root of 2 so from here we will get other two values of y so we will name them y3 is equal to 1 plus square root of 2 and y4 will be equal to 1 minus square root of 2 now we have four values of y so from here we can get the four values of x so here x is equal to 2 minus y So first value of y 1 plus 2 iota for first value of x we will substitute first value of y so x1 is equal to 2 minus 1 plus 2 iota so it will become 2 minus 1 is 1 and minus plus will be minus 2 iota so x1 from here is 1 minus 2 iota now for x2 we will substitute here minus y2 and y2 is 1 minus 2 iota. So x2 will be equal to 2 minus 1 is 1 minus minus will become plus 2 iota. So it is the second value of x. Now for x3 we will substitute the third value of y and the third value of y is 1 plus square root of 2. So, x3 will be equal to 2 minus 1 will be 1 and this minus time plus is minus square root of 2. So, this is the third value of x. Now, x4 will be equal to 2 minus fourth value of y is 1 minus square root of 2. So, x4 will be equal to 1 plus square root of 2. So, these are the four values of y and these are the four values of x. So, these are all the values of x and y for this problem. Hope so you will like my video. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.